back out here on the lake, Lake Purdy. And there's a few of us out here. The wind's blowing just a little. So just stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get on some fish. It's high pressure day. It's really, really slow. So don't expect a whole lot of action. Kind of show you what bait looks like. See that big ball at the bottom down there? That's bait. Um, that's what that that's what a bait ball looks like. A little red ball. It was a full moon last night for you guys that don't understand the moon phases uh, here's a little tip so when it's a full moon the the sky is lit up the water's lit up the crappie can see the bait at night so they feed heavy and it's really hard the next day to catch them uh, you have to basically wait for the afternoon bite um, now if it's uh, if it's new moon new moon is pitch black dark at night they can't see the bait for real so that's a really good time to night fish and bring out your green lights uh, but if not you can wait uh, in the morning the bite will be hot and heavy I'm gonna do like these guys here in front of me I'm gonna go to the solar bees real quick and grab me about 10 it's a beautiful lake it really is if, if you don't know about this lake you know google it you just go to google maps and type in Lake Purdy uh, P-U-R-D-Y in uh, Hoover Alabama uh, it's, it's a really really nice lake it's full of crappie full of bass got some nice catfish in here uh, shell cracker bluegill um, brim whatever you want to you know whatever you whatever you want to fish for it's here all right guys so right now i'm uh, i've got a bobber set up here at uh 15 feet it's right in front of the boat here and uh, i've got it set up with a slip cork um got a sam sam heaton super sensitive uh im6 graphite jig pole by bnm company uh bnmpoles.com they got the phone number there but uh i'm actually gonna let this minnow kind of swim around and do its thing oh missed him i don't know if that's a bluegill or what Got him that time. Oh, there's a crappie. Uh, not a keeper, but it's a crappie. It's a purple monkey. Oh, yeah. So I got me a, finally got me a keeper here. It's a purple monkey. We're gonna put her in the box. And what you do is you get the smallest minnows you can get and you hook them in the mouth and out the nostril they live longer Got it. Whatever it is. Oh, feels like a good one. Got that pole bent over. Oh, that's a slab. Oh my God. And I don't have my net ready. That is a slab, y'all. That is a freaking hog. Come on, don't you do it. Oh my God, don't get off. No, don't get off. Oh my God, y'all see that? Oh Jesus, I can't, I'm gonna lose it. Look at that hog, gal. Look at that hog. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me show you. Look at that five gallon bucket. Look at that. 
That is a that's a hog, y'all. That, that's a hog. That's a big one. My adrenaline is kicking, guys. I changed batteries. I cast it right here. Look at this. Right when I cast, I mean, that thing went down so fast. I got another hog. <laughs> Ooh. Hog season, baby. Boy. Ah, oh, and she is feisty. Man, I got some big ones in there, y'all. Oh, man, they are killing these minnows. First, thank you, Lord. Second, I appreciate you guys watching, staying with me. Subscriber count is growing. I really appreciate it. Man, that thing took off like a rocket, y'all. I mean, it was doing all kind of dancing. I thought I was going to lose it, but I'm hooking them right on top of the mouth. So they're looking up. So I'm right above them. I'm not even looking at my fish finder, to tell you the truth. I'm just, I just know when you catch a fish at a certain depth, stay at that depth. And I think I was too shallow. And see, now, now I'm down there where they are. See, see here. Got him. Yep, that's where they are. They're down there. Down there a little deeper. I knew I was too shallow. I wasn't getting no bites. They were they were biting too good to turn off like that. That bobber it, it it laid down, so that means the fish came up with it. On that when that bobber lays down, go ahead and set that hook. See here we go again. She's swimming off with it. Yep, she's got it. She's swimming off with it, and you got her. <laughs> Another little one. It's another little bitty one. They're down there. I mean, they're biting. They're here. Well, she's playing with it again. Playing with it, playing with it. Got it. It's another little one. Oh my God, that's even small. That's a brim. <laughs> oh, there it is again. Got him that time. Got him that time. Oh. <laughs> There's a tree. It's about 10 foot of water. I was marking fish at five feet. So I set my bobber at five feet. And I just wanna see if I got a minnow on here. And I wanna see something's messing with it. And there's a fish. It's a good one too. He's a keeper, I think. We'll see. Oh yeah. In the bucket. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to uh, Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna get some some heavy washers or like Lowe's and get some heavy washers for that uh, buoy marker. That way, when I drop it down, it, it goes down quicker and it stays versus it drifting off because that lead that's on there is really light 
and it just kind of drifts off right now the water temp uh, on the surface is 48 I don't know if y'all can see that because of the Sun but it's 48 I mean 50 I mean 50, uh, 45.6 feet of water um, I'm showing you know fish are below 15 feet uh, they're around 18 um, here uh, I've been catching them you know I guess they're chasing the bait up I've been I've been dropping down to about 20 and then I, I just as I'm bringing it up real slow like this sometimes I'll hold it still and just and just bob like that you know twitch a little bit and then I'll go back to reeling real slow like this see and then uh yeah sometimes I get a fish Jig and spoon. 